Hey friends, Miss Wendy here with the Fairfield Public Library and today we are doing a special steamed DIY rocket ship in celebration of Black History Month and the achievements of Dr. May Carol Jemison. She is the first African-American woman to become an astronaut. So we are going to be building a rocket ship today with a launcher and the fuel that is going to launch this rocket ship into space is your own breath. And you're gonna see how far you can launch your rocket. Let's get started. In your kit that you picked up from the library, you'll find a fins template for your rocket, if you choose to use that, two large pieces of paper that are folded, and one piece of nine by 12 paper. You'll also need scissors, tape and optional items are markers and a glue stick. The first thing we'll do is open up our pieces of paper. You can cut one at a time or you can cut both together and you're just going to cut on this fold. So use your scissors and cut your paper on the fold. Now you'll have five sheets of regular sized paper. Take one of the sheets and begin to roll it up. Just roll it like that. It's going to be about an inch in diameter, so an inch across, about that. Now you're going to make sure that it's nice and tight and you are going to tape all the way on that seam, okay? All the way on the end of the paper. All right, now you are going to take another sheet of paper and roll it very tightly to the first one. Roll it very tightly and put a couple of pieces of tape on it, but don't tape it to the inner roll, okay? But we're just putting some tape on it to hold it. And then we're gonna take that inner roll, go ahead and push it out, take that out this is going to be your launcher and this is going to be your rocket. So go ahead and continue taping that seam closed. And now you can tape it on the inside as well. And we're going to continue working with our rocket body. Put tape over one end so that it is completely closed. This is going to be the nose end of your rocket. Next, we're going to use another sheet of paper to make the nose cone for our rocket. All right, to make the nose cone, you're gonna take one of the sheets of paper and on the long end, you're gonna kind of roll it in on itself. And until it looks about like that, like a waffle cone. And then just go ahead and tape it. Then go ahead and put your rocket body in. See where it comes, feel it's about right there on mine. So I'm gonna cut this just about a little bit below where the rocket is going to sit. And I'm just going to cut it like that. And there's my cone. 
my nose cone. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my rocket in there and secure it with some tape. If you have a glue stick, you can put some glue on the top of your rocket just to make sure that it'll stay on. Go ahead and put it there. But then also tape it to make sure that it stays on. All right, the next thing, if you want, you can experiment with different fin types. So these are just triangles that I taped on. Tape them on both sides. This is my rocket with my template. If you'd like to use this template, go ahead and cut it out. All right, and now, just go ahead and place the fin and trace it and make sure you have enough room for the second one and go ahead and trace that. All right, and now go ahead and cut these out. All right, now you have one sheet of paper left and this is for experimentation after, so put that aside. These, go ahead and fold them either way on that line, on this line here. So go ahead and fold each of these. And now we're gonna tape these onto our rocket. Put one on the seam, the seam here right in the middle, as close to the middle as you can get it. You can tape it underneath, on top, and around. Okay. And then you'll tape each of these sides down. And the next one, you're gonna put a cross from that one. So on the other side of the rocket. All right, and now if you'd like to decorate your rocket, you can go ahead and do that. You can color it in, you can decorate the launcher. The launcher may fit only one way. Test it out and see which way it works better. And then like I did on this one, make uh, some kind of marking to let you know how to put this in the rocket. You want it to fit snugly, so if it doesn't fit snugly anymore. You might have to uh, take the tape off, roll it again, and um, uh, make some adjustments that way, but you want it to fit pretty snugly in there. And now you're ready to test. Make sure that there's no one in the way. Make sure that you have a wide open space and that nothing is going to break. So you might wanna do this outside and get the permission of your grown-ups to do this. So let's try this out. Put one hand on here and your other over your other hand so that you're not, your mouth is not touching the launcher itself. And one, two, three. <sighs> So friends, if you have a tape measure, you can measure how far your rocket went when you launched it. You can change some things like try a different rocket length or a different fin shape, size, or angle. You can change the nose cone or the launch angle. So if you launch it up into the air, how far does it go? If you launch it straight, how far does it go? So make one change at a time 
and mark down how the change affected your rocket's performance. And use that extra sheet of paper that I gave you to make adjustments to your design. Just a few pointers. You might want to tape the inside of your rocket so that it's easier for you to put your launcher back in. You want your launcher to fit snugly and make sure that the top of your rocket is sealed. And as always, friends, remember to clean up. Nice job. So friends, I had, hope you had a ton of fun making your rocket and launcher and hope you will experiment with it and do so safely. Please join us at the library for upcoming events, check our calendar and send us pictures of your rocket and maybe even let us know how far you were able to launch it. Thanks so much for joining me friends. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.